Hey Pyros, Valmir here at Elite Fireworks Super Center. Actually at the back of our warehouse. That's the Super Center right there. It is a little, it seems like it's gonna rain today, but that's not what we're gonna talk about. In this video, we're actually doing a follow-up to one of our previous videos that we did on how we started in our industry. So if you have not seen that, I highly recommend it. It gives you a basic understanding of how we started how we got in our industry but in this video i want to follow up on how much we personally make here at elite fireworks uh as running the business as you guys do know it is a family business uh, i am one of the owners with my two brothers castriot and suri uh we've been open i mean we've elite fireworks was established in 2012 so the good thing for us actually this upcoming 4th of July will be our 10 year anniversary which we are excited and why we're doing a lot of these serious uh, videos basically an insight in the industry from our perspective obviously we're still young in the industry because 10 years in the business is nothing compared to some companies 30 40 50 there's a lot of 50 plus year companies in the industry with a ton of 20 plus right but anyway uh, this is our perspective this is basically what we've experienced what we've failed what we haven't but i want to talk to you guys about personally how much money we've made each one of us and you'll be surprised because it's actually not much because unfortunately in order to grow a business especially i guess at the rate that we've been growing uh you don't really pay yourself much obviously <laughs> the basically we work for the business i'll say well when you consider for the business itself uh over the 10 years I mean technically if we were to just basically work just the fireworks it will be below poverty line but that obviously that's not the case right but uh long story short the first i'll say eight and a half years of the business we did not pay ourselves a penny because obviously if you want to grow the business it requires a lot of capital it's just you got to basically feed the beast the better you do if you want to grow it requires more capital more capital more capital so it gets difficult so it wasn't until 2021 so january 2021 was actually our first time that we paid ourselves okay so we paid ourselves january 2021 uh and yeah like basically we did a yearly salary of fifty thousand dollars each so that's the short answer so we did fifty thousand dollars each let me just move over here uh but until 2021 guys we did not pay ourselves and we basically i mean i had well i was going to school but after i graduated out of college i had a corporate job i i'm not a fan of corporate america <laughs> i'm so glad that we deal with fireworks but uh basically because i i graduated 2019 yeah was it no 2018 yep 2018 i graduated so i had a corporate job uh for a little bit my brothers before that they worked with flooring uh, they had they had their own flooring store as well as they did installation uh but yeah basically that's the money that we use for living because obviously if we didn't pay ourselves the first eight and a half years of the business then what is that saying like we, we would not be able to live off that so what we saw in the beginning this is what i recommend if you're wanting to get into the industry you don't just okay i'm doing fireworks that's it even if you sell all year long i don't recommend right away uh to just fireworks unless you have the money you have the capital you know you can afford six months to a year of uh, income to just basically cover all your expenses and then go ahead with the business that's a little bit different but obviously when we started that we didn't have no like we didn't have the money like we we had no money basically uh and funny thing is when we came to the us we actually came with nothing and a thousand dollars that's literally that's how we can we the first couple months we it took time we just got we had mattress basically and slept on a mattress and little then got a tv and then little by little literally that's how it started right but that's that's not the business but anyway the point is when the business started we knew that we cannot afford because you gotta if you want to grow the business if you want to build a career in this industry it doesn't matter obviously if you want the faster you want to grow the 
longer you can keep it where you can substitute your income, your living expenses, so that you're not actually eating the income from the business because you need to serve. Of course, everybody has, no matter what, you need a place to sleep, you need a place to eat. So if, if you're starting, if you want to start in the industry, I highly recommend it. Don't go full on in the industry and just quit what you're doing. Highly recommend have your living expense covered with another income from a different job, whether that is your current corporate job, if you work corporate America, you know, like I did, or if you do any like, uh, like handyman work, you know, or you work in construct, yeah, construction, whatever, you know, don't go full on in the fireworks industry because especially for us that are, we are seasonal, it's highly volatile. So you can easily be out of business. So especially until the company grows to a point where you're healthy, you know, as, as the company is healthy, I do not recommend that just because it becomes very difficult if in case you have a bad season, like you're basically, you're done. Your business is done and you just got to, Basically, find another job or something else to just cover your uh, living. <clears throat> so that's why for us, until 2021, we didn't pay ourselves at all. And guys, when I'm telling you we didn't pay ourselves at all, literally, I, I mean it. Every season, there was no bonus. There was no nothing. Literally, grow the business. That was our grow the business, grow the business. Now, the reason why... We started paying ourselves in 2021, and we decided in the fifty thousand uh, dollars. Obviously, you know, and, and again, it varies. So, whatever you live in the part of the United States, fifty thousand dollars might be enough. Fifty thousand dollars might not be enough because I know if you live in California or in New York, somewhere like expensive, you know, it's it's not enough, especially with family. I don't have a family. I'm single. Well, I have a girlfriend, but I don't have like kids. I'm not married, but my brothers do have families, and. Uh, that's enough to cover like the basic cost of living overall. You know, it's, it's not a lot. It's not a little, you know. So that's why we decided on that number. Obviously, uh, and, and that's kind of our whole thing. We don't want to pay ourselves because we want to grow the business. Because at the end of the day, if, if you think business-wise, it's a, it's a smarter decision, decision in, my, in my opinion, you know, to let the business grow. Because if the business is healthy, in the future you can... Uh, like, it's a lot better because then you can actually create jobs, you know, for others. Because obviously, it is a family business. Just like you see a lot of successful uh, fireworks businesses, you know. I'm pretty sure we're not the exception here to this formula, right? Uh, I'm pretty sure there's other businesses that have done something like that. But like I mentioned very early in the video, that this is our uh, experience that we have um, with fireworks. But yeah, now that we pay ourselves, even at... If you were to calculate, that's why you cannot, uh, you really cannot calculate working by hour when it comes to the industry. Uh, just because even the amount that we're paying right now, it's not, if you were to calculate it per hour, it's not very uh, hourly. So you just don't. Because, but the good thing about it, guys, is something, and I'm pretty sure if even for you, if you're already in the fireworks industry, I'm pretty sure you know the same feeling because a lot of people who are in the industry, uh, I, th I would like to believe that, you know, they're passionate about fireworks. It's not just money, you know? But if you are looking to get into the fireworks industry, of course, like anything, when it's a business, it is a job. There's priorities, there's stress. It's not all fun and games. However, though, uh, the reason why I say you don't really count the hours and you don't really feel like counting the hours because like for instance with me, I often, you know, depending on what the day, like between seven to eight o'clock, I start working and I'll work basically till five, six, seven. It doesn't matter by the time, just how my schedule is for the day to get done. But I'm not looking for the hours and same thing with my brothers, you know, like you, we do the same thing. It's just because sometimes some of the tasks, you have to be from seven to midnight or like, We've had times, I mean, especially during the season. If you guys are wondering for the season, <laughs> for the season, it's basically get uh, four hours of sleep, if that, and just run. Basically on that for like a month, a month and a half. Uh, so yeah, it can get, that can get tiring a little bit, but it's still exciting. It's the thrill of uh, selling fireworks and just being around fireworks. And plus, we like to blow shit up. So that's why even though we sell fireworks, we try to shoot as much as possible because we what we tell ourselves is that we're doing it for 
quality control. And that was me doing quotation mark, but yeah, for quality control, especially with our Elite Fireworks products, uh, we want to make sure the quality has to, uh, is up to par, so uh, we just do different samples just to see if it's good. Plus, we, it's a win-win. We get content from you guys, for you guys, and we try samples. If there's something that doesn't work, that's it. But let me know what you guys think below, like, um, as far as this, like, uh, and if, are you in the fireworks industry? And if you are, uh, or if you're planning to be, but if you are in the fireworks industry, how long did it, how long did it take for you until you started paying yourself or maybe you're not yet that or like just let me know in the comment below i really enjoy reading everyone's comments if you are in the industry industry let me know that but if you're not in the industry and you want to get into the industry let me know what type of content like what do you want me to talk about it because there's a lot that i can talk with and i plan in the future to do a full-on series but uh, any feedback that you have, any recommendations, I can try to do a video on that topic within a couple weeks from this video. But thank you so much, guys, and we'll see you in another video right here on our channel.